good Monday morning to the wonderful Find Your Fire tribe. Welcome. For those of you who are seeing this for the first time, I'm Wendy Yorching, founder of Healing Spaces Caribbean and the tribe mom of the Fire Tribe. And with me today, we have Terry Osborne, who's going to be sharing with us a beautiful meditation on the art of candle gazing. If you're watching this live, please type hashtag live. And if at the end of the meditation, you have any questions or comments with Terry, I'll check the, the, the um, feed and I'll, of course he'll answer your questions. And if you're watching the replay, please type hashtag replay so that you know we know you caught it and leave your comments or questions and Terry will, ve will venture back into the thread later on today. So once again, welcome Terry and thank you so much for being here to share this beautiful practice with us. Thank you so much, Wendy, and a very pleasant good morning to all in the tribe, all who are with us live on Facebook and those who are in the Zoom room. It is a glorious, glorious Monday morning where I am in Tobago. I'm not sure how the weather is where the rest of you guys are, but it's a really beautiful morning this morning. <clears throat> I do apologize for my voice. Um, I believe that we have some Sahara dust in the air and it's been affecting me, but <clears throat> <clears throat> I was determined to be here this morning. So I'm here. So please forgive if I go a little croaky every now and again. So as Wendy says, I'm Terry Osborne. I'm a member of the Find Your Fire tribe, um, and I what qualifies me to be here this morning is that <clears throat> I'm a trained yoga teacher and um, meditation and mindfulness um, practitioner, so that's why I'm here with you guys this morning. These things are of some of my passions. I also have a passion for, for art, um, for those of you who may have caught some of the other things that I've done on the tribe with Wendy. So <clears throat> that's what qualifies me to be here this morning with you. Um, mostly I would say it's, it's the love and passion. Everything else to me is, is secondary. So this morning, what I wanna share, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meditation. In Sanskrit, it is known as Trataka Sadhana which is <clears throat> basically tr loosely translated to mean um, steady, gazing steadily. <clears throat> That's strataka and sadhana means disciplined learning. So basically strataka sadhana is a practice of candle gazing as a form of meditation. And I actually quite, quite love it. It is really great for people who struggle to focus with their eyes closed in the, what I would say, traditional, what people view meditation as traditionally, which is you're in a seated position, eyes closed, and you are focusing inwardly. So this is, a, this is something that I like to share with people because I find a lot of people talk about having trouble quieting their mind and focusing when they're in that situation of, of being seated and the eyes are closed. So I'm really excited to share this um, meditation with you guys this morning. So this morning, unlike the other meditation Mondays that you would have been exposed to, um, you're gonna need some stuff. Um, so I'm gonna tell you what you might need. And if you don't have it at, um, at this time, it's okay. Um, you know, nothing in life is perfect. So still go ahead and try the meditation. I'm going to provide the, the candle for you via a video. I'm going to share my screen so you don't necessarily have to have a candle, but if you would like to grab one, that's fine too. You're going to need a dimly lit quiet space. Wendy, I know that might be a little challenging for you, um, the dimly lit part, but it's okay. Still go ahead and try because meditation is a practice. So today would be the first day you're trying it out. And of course, be gentle with yourself. Um, if you don't um, feel that you're getting it, quote unquote, it's okay. You can continue to look at the replays of the video and continue this practice and see if it's something that works for you. But you need a dimly lit quiet space. And also it's kind of advisable at the end of the meditation that you are able to lie down with your eyes closed. So um, make sure that you are, you're going to be seated doing the meditation, but ensure that you can be in a lying position. As for your candle, um, the candle can be scented. That's fine. That's beautiful. Once it is a scent that makes you feel calm 
and at ease. Um, if it's not centered, that's okay too. The color of the candle is important um, in terms of what you are trying to achieve. So I'm not gonna go into the colors. If anybody wants to know anything more about that, feel free to reach out to me in the tribe. But um, I usually like to use a white candle. White is, is purity and, and it's just, um, it's something that so I find soothing. So I like to use a white candle or off-white. So um, that's what we will be seeing today in the video. So like I said, feel free if you wanna grab those things while you're doing that and setting yourself up. I will be um, talking to you a bit about the candle gazing and what it's, um, <clears throat> what are the benefits? Like I said before, it is ideally great for those who have trouble focusing with their eyes closed. Why? Because you are gazing or staring steadily at this candle's flame. It's the flame you're going to be focusing on, not the candle. So you light the candle and the candle needs to be about um, eye level and about two feet away from you. So what I would suggest, if you're using your device and not using an actual candle today, that you place your device um, as much as possible at eye level and about two feet away from you. So you really get the full immersive experience. So, <clears throat> it, so when you're focusing on the flame, you would tend to find that everything else around would fade, right? The room would fade away you're, and your invasive thoughts and any distraction should fade away because you're focused, you are intently focusing on the flame of the candle. So um, candle gazing meditation helps to increase concentration. It's, um, it improves your memory and it also brings energy to the third eye chakra. Those of you who would have done the chakra meditation series with me would be familiar with the third eye. And if you haven't, please feel free to go ahead in the tribe and go to, I think it's featured topics of the, of the yes, Wendy, thank you. And um, catch the, the whole series, that would be lovely for you, or you can check out the third eye, because I'm not going to go into talking about the, the third eye, but just know that this particular meditation brings energy to the third eye. <clears throat> you can also um, capture, the, find that video on my YouTube channel, Wendy at Healing Spaces. It might be easier to source than on the featured section, because the featured section, all of them are sequential and that was way at the beginning way, way ah the okay okay so, okay yeah. thank you for that wendy thank you thank you so um <clears throat> right so i was um talking about the benefits so those are some of the benefits of the candle gazing meditation and um i think that once everybody is in a position where they they feel comfortable we shall start so um like i said I'm not in a dimly lit space because I'm the one that's that's teaching you guys. So I won't be actively participating in this meditation. But um, yes, dimly lit, quiet space. You're going to be seated. Have your device or your candle uh, two feet away from you and the candle at eye level. And we are going to start. Um, so I'm excited for this. I hope that, that you are too. And especially those of you who, you know, say that you have trouble um, being able to focus when you're in the seated position with your eyes closed. So as always, I always like to start my meditation practice with some sort of pranayama, which is breath work um, in the yogic tradition. So this morning, I'm going to introduce to you, um, well, for those of you who don't know it, and for those of you who know it, great, uh, pranayama practice called brahmari, or the humming bee breath. So this is a beautiful, beautiful pranayama practice because it calms the central nervous system and it, um, it just puts you in a, in a good state for meditation. So I'm going to ask you to come to your seated position. You're either going to be on the floor, on a chair. Make sure that you feel supported. If you're on a chair seated, make sure that your feet uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, flat on the floor, preferably without shoes or flippers on so that you can be grounded. Make sure that your spine is erect and that your vertebrae are stuck like bricks one on top of the other. 
Make sure that your shoulders aren't hunched forward. So you can shake them out a little bit, roll them around a little bit, roll them back and slide your shoulder blades down very gently. Everything is very gentle. And you're going to ensure that your chin is parallel to the floor, that your neck is erect, and that you generally feel comfortable because you're gonna be staying in this position for a while. So you can place the palms of your hands either on your knees turned down or turned face up, whichever one is most comfortable for you, it's fine. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to give a demonstration first of the, the deep breath. So basically what it is, is you're going to inhale and in the exhale, you're going to be doing a hum. The higher the pitch of the hum, the better it is, the more soothing it is for the soul. So um, and the, I'm going to show you the hand position. I'm going to take my glasses off for a second. So your hands, now you can either do one of two things. You can either just place your index finger on your tragus, which is this little air flap here. You can place them like this, just very gently. And then as you inhale and exhale and hum, you just gently massage this and press it in and out. So it looks like this. So that's one way. Another way that's particularly nice is if you do some acupressure. So in that sense, it's just the hand placement that's going to be different. You're going to place your little fingers right under your nostrils, your ring finger at the side of your nose, your middle finger at the corners of the eyes and the index finger on top of the brow bone. And then you're gonna use your thumbs to open and close that air flap. The pressure should just be, yes, beautiful, Wendy. Um, not too much. And so you would inhale, and then on the exhale, you hum, and you can go ahead and open and close the air flap gently. Mm. Wendy, was that clear, the, the instructions? Yes, okay. So let's, let's go ahead and do some of these <clears throat> bee breath exercises. So close your eyes and get your hands into position, whichever way, either with the index finger closing off the triggers, or as I showed you before with the acupressure points, and you're going to inhale deeply through the nose, and on the exhale, you hum. So, Again. 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 Last one. Now go back to your normal breath, keeping the eyes closed, bring the palms back down to your knees, your lap, wherever you have them first, either palms up or facing downward and keeping your eyes closed. Just take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth.
Now gently open your eyes. And if you are like me, you will need to put your glasses back on. <laughs> okay, great. Um, anybody, Wendy, Karen, wants to say how that was? How do, how do you guys feel? Anybody? Nobody? I want to ask a question. Sure. Do you breathe, hum out and breathe out through your mouth or your nose? Because you can do it both. I did both. So is it- It really, it, um, it does, it's the humming that's the most important part. So it's okay. I tend to do it. I, I hum better with my mouth closed. Okay. All right. I tried yeah. it with both and it worked with both. And I really love the rest yeah. in my ear. Uh, yes. Yeah. This is a little bit of a yeah. strange position. But it, I love it the is. resonance in my ear. Yeah. So I'm going to train so that's what, to do that. Yeah. Right. So that's why I offered the two. So whichever one was most comfortable. The acupressure is nice. But again, like we were saying, practice makes perfect. So yes, you can train yourself. It was off. It's awkward for me too, because I've only just um, learned that technique. I knew about um, Brahmari before, but I knew just about the massaging the air flaps alone. And I recently learned about the acupressure version and I loved it so much. I'm like, this is cool. It was kind of but I said I like this this is cool and, and yeah. so I was really excited to to teach it yes and thanks for that opportunity so yes Wendy great question and for me humming is always with my mouth closed but the humming the vibration is really what is giving you the the most benefits in in this type of pranayama so feel free to if you want to hum while you're exhaling um through your mouth it's it's okay thank you for me, oh, thank you. Feeling, so thank you. That was a very you're, well, you're welcome, Karen. All right, so let's get into our candle gazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um uh oh, and just a quick note too, in case um I know I've said this before, but it, I, I like to reiterate it. Breath work is also um meditation because meditation is about bringing your mind. To single a single point of focus, and that's what you do when you're doing the breath work, because you're focusing on something. Whether it's you're focusing on humming, or you're focusing on your actual breathing and and breathing in and holding it to account and exhaling to account. So I always like to um, make that known because sometimes people might think, well, you know, we spent time on the the pranayama and then the actual meditation part of it, but all of this is meditative work all of it, because it's bringing your mind to a single point of focus where everything else kind of just fades away. So now on to our Trataka Sabhana candle gazing. So for those of you who have set up yourselves with your own candles and stuff, that's great. I'm going to share my screen now so that we have um, a candle for those of you who don't have anything set up physically. So let me start. So remain seated as you were uh, when we started off. Um, so share screen. There we go. Share. Lovely. Okay, Wendy, um, uh, just a minute. Hmm. What are you seeing, Wendy? Because it's saying that the page isn't responding. Okay, it's now come up on my end. Are you seeing it? Not yet, but we see that oh, you're okay. screen sharing. It's just, it's just not showing the image yet. All right, well, let me know when the image comes up, please. Okay. Because the image is up on my side. Okay, it's, why did it come back out of? Okay, we got it now, just not full screen. I know, it just it just came back out of full screen by itself. Okay, okay but we have the candle for the first time. We have the candle now. Yes. Okay, love you. Yeah, so I'm trying for full screen again. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, it's full screen on my end. Perfect. 
Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, so <clears throat> what I'm going to ask you to do is settle yourself into your seat, whether it be on a chair, the floor, a cushion, however you're seated, settle yourself. Connect your feet with the floor if you are in a seat, if you're sitting on a chair, seated on a chair, connect your feet to the floor to ground you. Right? Your eyes are open. Your hands can be if you're seated cross-legged in your lap, or they can be if you're seated on a chair, on your thighs, on your knees, palm up, palm down. And what I'd like you to do now is to look at this candle. Let's start with the base of the candle itself. Let's look at the wax. I'd like to say also, if you're do, going to do an actual, we'll use an actual candle, it's best if you use like um, be, the beeswax or soy candles. You don't want anything with any kind of toxic fumes, so make sure it's non-toxic. <clears throat> So just stare at that, look at how the, the difference in the color gradation is where the candle is closest to the flame, it's lighter and it's more luminous. And now bring your awareness up to the wick, the actual wick, where you can see part of it is dark, where the actual flame is, and then the rest of it is an off-white color. <clears throat> Just gaze at it for a bit. Just bringing your awareness and your focus solely on this candle. Taking a few breaths. You're not focusing on your breath. You're breathing normally. But remember to breathe. Don't hold a breath. And now, just very gently bring your awareness to the flame from the bottom. It's blue and it goes into a sort of an orange as it stretches upward and reaches up. It's a kind of yellowy off-white color. And really look at the flame now in its entirety, just the flame, not the entire candle. Notice how it flickers. Notice the light around it that's like a kind of, of aura and it's shades of oranges and reds and some yellows. And how as the aura expands out, what it kind of fades off, that's what you want to experience with this meditation. You want as you stare at this flame for everything around you to just fade into the background. You're not going to focus on anything else but this flame. So breathe as you gaze at the candle. Focus on the sensation of the light flowing into you with each inhalation. As you gaze at the candle, if your eyes become tired, if they start to water, if you blink, that's okay. Just be gentle with yourself and bring your focus back to gazing at the flame of the candle. That's all. Just be gentle. Your gaze should be soft, meaning that the stuff in your peripheral vision should be fuzzy and out of focus. And your main focus should be on the flickering flame of the candle. So I now invite you to spend some time gazing at this flickering flame feeling the warmth of the candle glow with each inhalation. And really trying to put all your focus 
on this flame and looking at the flame and seeing the beauty of the flame and forgetting all else. I'm going to invite you to do that for a few minutes. I will let you know when to stop.
I now invite you to gently bring your awareness back to yourself and the room that you're in, your surroundings. Listen for any noises in the distance, bringing yourself gently back to awareness. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And I'm gonna ask you to just, <clears throat> just to reconnect yourself with your body and to bring yourself back to total and complete awareness. Just close your eyes gently and just take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, let go of the awareness of the breath, keeping your eyes closed. Just listen to the sounds around you that you can hear in your immediate surroundings and then seek out sounds further away. <laughs> Ideally, if you wanted to lie down and do this, that would be perfect. But if you are not in a position to do that right now, you can remain seated. This is just about bringing your awareness back after the candle heating. And now I invite you to let go of listening for the sounds around you and just gently open your eyes and welcome yourself back. Give yourself a little hug. <laughs> Right, so we went a little bit longer today, which I kind of anticipated, but I really wanted to um, do the, the, the breath work um, first, that particular one to go with this candle med <clears throat> meditation. I think they go very well together. So thank you so much for your time. And thank you, Wendy, for the opportunity for me to share my passion and my love of meditation. Oh with the tribe. That was excellent. Thank you, Terry. Really You're welcome, enjoyed. Karen. I enjoyed it tremendously. Oh, Karen, I'm glad. I'm so glad to hear you say that because I did too. And I wanted to make, I'm so glad that you did as well. I thought it was beautiful. Um, I put, uh, for me, I particularly resonated still with the, with the breath work and, um, and, and, and the candle gazing is a very good discipline for me to focus on something with my eyes open because normally when I meditate, my eyes are closed. So this was a, an yeah. extension of that for me, a, a new practice, and I will yeah. do some more of it. Yes. Lovely. I'm happy to hear that. And of course, the more you get into the practice, the longer you can gaze at the, the candle. So, you know, this is just a taste of what it's like. I, I mean, when you're now starting off, obviously, I, I don't expect anyone who's now starting to be able to stare <laughs> The candle for 30 minutes that's kind of impossible which is why I like to mix it up and include some breath work first because that's also meditative yes and then yes. and then introduce the actual technique so that people can go back revisit the um the videos do the replay on um Facebook and then you know get a taste of it and then continue the practice um, and that's what I'm hoping that they'll continue it in their own lives and as long as they want to and comfortable they can right. on the timing yeah oh, beautiful that, that was a lovely introduction thank you terry thank you karen and thank you to all who will join uh watch us live on facebook and who will watch the replay do let us have your feedback we look forward to hearing from you and terry many blessings it was wonderful thank you thank you hey thank you you're welcome karen okay have a great week people